What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this vertical ombre look and the colors we're using are Erica and Infinite from Revel. This look was inspired by one of my friends on Instagram, Embrace Nails. I'll leave her Instagram in the description box so you guys can check out her mani and her page in general because it's so bomb. It's so beautiful. I love everything that she creates so I definitely recommend checking her out. You guys, it's been so long since I have even used Erica. This was my first color that I ever got with Revel, and it's actually the color that got me into dip powder. Um, I used to have a similar color that I wore like every single day in nail polish from Essie. It was called Sugar Baby, I think. <laughs> but I love that color, and honestly, I love Erica so much. I just never pick her up anymore because I have so many other colors I have to go through, and then I never get time to even use, so... <laughs> Erica has a back seat for a little minute, but I'm using her today and I'm so obsessed all over again. Guys, this color is such a staple in your collection. If you don't have it, definitely go get it. I feel bad because I've been doing like so many Revel manis, I feel like, especially on YouTube. Most of the manis that you guys see are Revel because I film like every other set and I do both my hands, so... One week is filming and one week it's not filming, so somehow it just always lands on Revel colors. Also, practically my whole fall collection is all Revel, so I do need to venture out a little bit more into some of the smaller brands for fall colors, but XOX actually has like my all-time favorite fall colors, XOX Nails. Um, I've been really loving all the colors that she's been coming out with. Her collection right now is actually my favorite swatch stick. Like I'm always grabbing from her collection. I'm obsessed. So if you guys are looking for a good small brand dip powders, hers are some of my favorite. I'm bummed because on one of my Halloween manis, it was like a bright coral and a purple and then like this really pretty glitter. Um, it was from her brand and I was filming it and then it cut off at like eight minutes and I was like well what the heck like I didn't know that it cut off so I was like halfway through my mani and I looked up and my phone wasn't recording so that was <laughs> that was a good time for me you guys it was a really good time but anyways I will have to film a video for you guys with her products just so I can show you like how they perform and everything and just how many beautiful colors that she has i'll grab my swatch collection and i will show you and yeah it'll be a good time xox nails i'm coming for you okay i'm sorry i hope you guys don't think i'm weird but like i don't get a lot of social interaction these days <laughs> anyway so we're gonna get into our glitter ombre right now and i'm taking my base i'm gonna coat this pretty good so that the base does not dry before I get that glitter on there. And I'm just going to turn my finger completely to the side so that I can just focus all that glitter in one spot and then it'll fall practically perfectly where I want it to. This is just magical. If you haven't tried this method before, this is actually something that SP Nails, aka Stevie Peterson, um, she actually practically showed everybody how to vertical ombre and so I'm just piggybacking off of that. I learned from her so this is just what I do and what she does. I'm also going to be placing some of these glitters as well just to make the look a little bit more even and flawless like they just magically appeared like that onto my nail but they didn't so we have to create that look ourselves. Um, yeah so I'm just gonna keep going through this step over and over again so I'm gonna let you guys watch and you won't have to listen to me talk anymore but I love you and enjoy
Okay, we're gonna brush off any of that extra glitter on that side of the nail and then we're going to dip into clear twice and then we'll be ready to activate, file, and buff. We're taking our sparkling coat solidify and we're gonna coat the nails a good amount and then we're gonna let this sit for two minutes and we will be ready to file and buff we're taking our trusty beauty secrets 100 180 grit files once again and these are my favorite files ever i get them at sally's beauty supply if you don't know that that's where I get them. Sorry guys, I'm being really goofy in today's video. I don't really know why. I'm just in a talkative mood. And you guys are who I'm talking to, so... <laughs> Hope you like this side of me. I feel like sometimes like, I don't know what to say in videos because a lot of it is like repetitive stuff. Aside from the design, like I usually am doing the same things like filing and buffing and how I apply my base in general. So I'm just trying to make it fun for you guys and enjoyable to watch. So I hope my weirdness doesn't creep you out. Or if you are a new watcher, I hope you don't think I'm always like this. Or maybe you want me to be like this. And if you do, then sure, let me know and I will try my best to be weirdly goofy but also still helpful at the same time. our buffer and we're just gonna buff and smooth until we're completely even and good and then we'll be ready to activate a second time and it'll be top coat time after that so I'll see you then Alright, taking our solidify once again and we're gonna apply this for 30 seconds and then we'll go into top coat time. Sorry for all the glitter in the back, but it's kind of pretty, right? Just a little. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this lint-free wipe. It's actually just a napkin. I don't know why I said it was a lint-free wipe. Um, you can use either, but I'm using this paper towel that I have. And now we're going to get into top coat time. This is Sparkling Coast 2.0 top coat. My favorite top coat ever, dip powder wise. But you guys, I think I'm going to break up with dip powder top coat pretty soon. I'm just not that good at it anymore and my brush gets hard a lot. So <clears throat> I think I might switch to gel. That being said, here's our second application of top coat and then after this we're gonna be done I'm gonna put on scales of a mermaid cuticle oil my new found favorite cuticle oil ever her scents are freaking amazing and I want every single one of them Patricia I love you girl continue to slay here's the finished look here's the cuticle oil 
that being said i love you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you again next time bye bye